Hello, this tutorial is about using for loop in bash system. The common syntax of for loop is for variable name uh, in and the list from where this variable will retrieve one data is time. And this is the starting block do and done is the ending block of the loop. Here uh, we will see some example of using for loop in bash script. First example is just reading static values. Uh, here for color in blue, green, pink, white, red. These uh, five are the static values and uh, each time the loop will iterate it will take one value from this list and uh, in the and the loop will print the value of color in this section so i will uh, add this code in text editor And uh, save the file as loop. This is the folder, and the file name is for loop one dot sh. Save. Okay, now go to the terminal and uh, go to the folder for loop. And if I type that, this is my script for loop one dot sh. Now I will run the script using bash command for loop one dot sh. And here you can see the five static values uh, which the loop is iterate using color variable. Now <coughs> I will say in the next example reading array variable. In this section uh, color list array is declared here in color list which has also five values and uh, here uh, for loop will uh, retrieve uh, one element each time from the array and if the element value is pink then it will type my favorite color is pink and otherwise it will just ignore the value so to tell the code similar way i will save it in bash script file new and uh, save the file in the same folder for loop 2. <coughs> now run the script uh, just change the file name and here you can see there is a pink and my favorite color is pink uh, the output is generated from this code and if I type here suppose yellow And uh, yellow is not in the list, so no output will be uh, painted in this scheme. Save the file. Again run, and there is no output. Now, we check the next example. Reading common line arguments. That means if you uh, pass arguments when running the script then this loop will read this argument one by one and print on the console or terminal again create another file copy the code in another file and uh, save the file name as for loop 3 Oh, and the command for loop 3 
and uh, I didn't pass any argument here, so there is no output. Uh, if I pass the argument like this, uh, chain 45, 23. So there are three arguments, chain 45 and 23. And if I run the script, then uh, this in the loop will iterate with these arguments and print in the terminal. So now I will go for the next example, example 4, finding odd and even number using three expressions. We know in conventional programming language, for loop has three parts, initialization, termination condition, and increment or decrement. In batch script, you can also follow this convention, and this example is uh, that type of, uh, and in this example, that type of convention is followed. So, again, here's another new script. And save the file as for loop 4. Okay, here initialization is n equal to 1, that means the loop will start from 1 and n is less than equal to 5 and it will iterate for 5 times and every time n will increment by 1. And uh, to find out the even or odd number, here it, uh, the, each number is divided by 2 and if the remainder is zero, uh, the number is even, otherwise number is odd. Sorry. Okay, now I have this script. One is odd, two is even, three is odd, four is similar. If the loop iterate for five times, then let's find out the odd and even number. Go for the next example. Example 5, reading file content. To do this code, first of all, you have to create a text file or same type of files and use the loop to read the file. Here I will uh, create the file here. Uh, suppose get mod. Okay. January, February, March, April. Sorry, April. Okay. Control D. The file is created. Now the PXT. Now I can uh, check the code. Here yeah, my file name is mount.txt and uh, okay save the file and keep the name as for loop file save so, uh change something here mount the file and now run the script. Much. In this way, you can use for loop in various way in bash script. Hope this will help you to understand the function of for loop in bash script. Thank you.